Good afternoon to you. Mark Suddeth, HurricaneTrack.com here with your Hurricane Pro and HD video blog for Thursday, the 11th of June, 2015. Taking a look at the anomalies, the departures from normal, check out the El Nino holding strong here in the tropical Pacific. And we have these colder anomalies here in the Atlantic, only the subtropics running above normal. And that means what we have talked about many times before, a lower than average number of name storms, hurricanes, and major hurricanes for the Atlantic, and quite a bit of activity in the Pacific. Really nothing has changed. In fact, if we look at the subsurface anomalies, the top of the chart is the surface of the Pacific, and the bottom of the chart is several hundred meters deep. And all of this is very warm, uh, what we call positive anomalies on the right hand side of the scale here, two, three, four, five, six degrees Celsius above what the water temperature normally is at these depths. And then of course right here at the surface is where we have this El Nino and that is reflected very, very nicely uh, across this area right here, the surface water. So the El Nino holding strong looks like it's going to do so for the rest of the year and then probably fade out as we would expect it to do. Looking at actual temperatures, boy, the Gulf of Mexico warmed up very significantly. Everything in the green shading is 29 degrees Celsius or higher. Uh, the yellowish color, mustard color, and then the orange, 30 and 31 degrees Celsius. What does that mean? That means the water temperature is in the mid to upper 80s across a good part of the Gulf of Mexico. Now that doesn't matter if we don't have any hurricanes coming in to take advantage of that warm water. But it is certainly warm enough to support very intense hurricanes if in fact they ever show up. Same is almost true for the western Atlantic, though not quite as warm. We do have low 80s here, just south of areas where we were completely iced over during the winter. Now the water temperature is 50 to 60 degrees warmer than it was in February and March. That's amazing. And then off the southeast coast, very warm, low 80s as we would expect, but a little bit warmer than it normally is. So again, if we have a hurricane coming up the east coast, it will have warmer than normal water temperatures to work with that, is, uh, that are undisturbed. Uh, we just don't have anything, fortunately, to worry about. Of course, it's only June, and the peak of the season isn't until September anyway. In the Pacific, we do have Tropical Storm Carlos. Good news for Mexico. It looks like it's going to turn back to the northwest with time and stay away from the areas such as Manzanillo and Acapulco. If we look at a satellite picture, well-defined tropical storm in the model, in the model, in the satellite picture. And you can also tell, which I'm getting ready to look at the models for you, uh, nice area of high pressure sitting to the north. How do you know that? All this sinking air up here, no cloud cover. You can tell there's a big ridge sitting to its north. And so Carlos can't turn into this upper level, mid-level ridge. It has to go around it, and that's what's going to happen. And if we look at the GFS model, you can see that very clearly. This is the tropical cyclone in the 500 millibar field, uh, about midway up in the atmosphere or so. And um, then you have this nice area of high pressure. And in fact, it's closed off in what we call a 588 decameter height line which is just a fancy way of saying, hey, this is a contour line in the atmosphere. And the more contour lines you have, just like in geography and geology, the higher a mountain is. And that's what this is, is a mountain of air sitting over this part of the Pacific. If we kind of fill it in, this is virtually impenetrable by the lighter, less dense tropical cyclone down here. So it can't turn into this. This would have to move over to the left or the right or break in half with a trough or something for Carlos to go through it. And that's not going to happen, it appears. So folks in Mexico don't have too much to worry about. This should be steered uh, on the south side of this ridge of high pressure. And then it'll be away from the Mexican coastline and all will be well. So there you have it. You're up to date on the tropics, the Atlantic, nice and quiet, no areas of concern at all across the Atlantic Basin right now. Again, I am Mark Suddeth for HurricaneTrack.com and for Hurricane Pro in HD. I'll be back with you probably Friday to give you an update on Carlos, make sure it is behaving the way we expected it to, and I'll talk to you then.